right, so we're back here where we started. And I just wanted to make a point that last time I didn't know where the, or I didn't even remember where the, um, these things, the speaker or these um, HDD reset button, HDD uh, switch, power LED, and the power reserve went. So I went online, and as you can see here on the screen, this is the, uh, the layout of the uh, the motherboard where the switch will the switches will go these wires. So going back here to the motherboard, I have to look for JFP1, and that's gonna be right over here. Now I know this is kind of tiny. You can't even see it, can you? It's right over here, right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for. That's the first one is gonna be the power LED. So we got the power LED right here, and we're gonna put these inside right now. Here, power LED is two of them here. Now, which one is positive, which one's negative? I don't know. We're just gonna have to find out. So I got the first two right there. That's what it said. The first two there. All right, the next one is going to be the HDD light, the hard drive um, LED. So that's speaker. Put the speaker away for a second. HDD LED. Yes, that's exactly the one I need. And that is going to go on the other side of it. Now I know red is going to be positive. So positive is going to be the bottom one. So I'm going to have to do it like this I'm guessing and we're gonna find out if it worked or it didn't work uh -huh. okay we're gonna find out if this worked or didn't work once uh, you know we fire it up all right what is the next one the power switch all right this is the power switch the blue one so I'm gonna put that there for now the power switch. Now that one's gonna go next to the LED one. So I'm gonna say the blue one's negative. Here. Yes, these things are so tiny, I can't even tell, to be honest with you. All right. Next one is gonna be, uh, well, at least I should say the last one. It's going to be the recess switch, and that one's gonna go next to the. Yep, so we're gonna put that one next to the uh, HDD LED. So we're left with one. Alright, now, here's the speaker one. Now we wanna put this in JFP2, which is right next to. Um, yeah, right next to JFP1. Nope, it's not there. I lied. I lied, I'm sorry. That's JSP I1? Where is JF? Number two. Huh. Where is this speaker? Oh, here it is. Found it right above JS. JCOM 1, right above that one. So, it's going to be just two of them. Okay. Well, it's going to have to be. We're going to have to figure that one out. But we'll try it out. So, I'm going to put it like this. And there it is. All right. This is looking great. Now, we're going to figure out these guys. The USBs and the other ones in junk. All right, we're doing great here. So, last time we were talking about the uh, computer parts being, you know, overly expensive and we have to pay a premium and yada yada junk and junk. Well, I've been watching a couple YouTube videos and I've noticed that a lot of these YouTubers are building. Oh come on, don't do that. Come on, don't do that. 
Jeez, don't do that. I guess they're gonna work here. Been building these PCs that are under a thousand dollars, or maybe a thousand twelve with rebates comes down to like nine thousand and closer to a thousand. So, and they get some pretty good stuff like the uh, processor, the i9, i7 processor, and I'm just like, you know. I think I may save a thousand dollars just to get a like a regular generic. I won't say generic. A uh, regular, uh, you know, over a little bit over a thousand dollars. And I think this time I'm gonna do the whole RGB water cooler thing because RGB is like the in thing. And USB one. That's gonna be this one. And I think I may go with RGB, the water cooler, RGB fans, by course air and junk like that. Here's the first one. This is USB 1. USB 2 is right here, so we're going to put it into... Ah, it's just one side. Okay, we're going to put it into... Uh, one, two... Four grounds on top. Holy smokes, this is complicated. Um, let's just put it here. Uh, yes, and VCC on the last one. That's NC. So I'm just gonna put it like this, see if it works out. At the end of the day, hopefully it'll work out. And number two, we're gonna put it in the same manner. Because why not? Hawaiian punch ain't that nice. So this is one and two. No pins and ground ground. So we're looking so far so good. Now this is the fan, so this will need to connect to that. But the problem is with this is that I need to disconnect one of these. Or wire match them. But before we do that, I just want to figure out what and tartanations is this? Ah, oh, this is the mic. This is the earbuds. Ear left, ear right, ear left, ear right. Okay. Microphone. Okay. Ear left, ear right. And what's. Okay. Okay. One second. And. Oh man, this is just convoluted. So convoluted. And this, okay, hold on. All right, so that's one ear. Put that on the side. And then, what is that say, ground? And this is the other ear, and yes. That's complicated. TPA, TPA, ground, TPA, TPA. Don't know what this TPA is, but I'm just gonna put it on the side for now right there all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this guy here the other way ah perfect Boop. so far it's coming together I know it looks a little messy but we'll wire match it afterwards and then this is going to go here for the hard drives, and then let's see here. Put this here, and then with this ain't gonna work. This is for the uh, this is for the SATA cable right there. And now probably you guys can't hear me, so I'm talking to myself there. And trust me, I'm not saying anything um, that important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these guys, and I am going to just connect it. For the fan here. Okie dokes, artichokes, here we go. Ah, perfect. Just like uh, a glove. It's like a glove. Okay, we got the fan ready to go. And I'm guessing this will be extra power in case we want to connect something else. We can use this. Okay, and now this guy. I gotta rip this tape off because I need uh, what I need is for it to spread his wings. Okay, throw that out. 
There we go. Check it out. We got absolute distance here. And this is great. Alright, we got a hard drive somewhere. One second. Let me get a hard drive. Or the hard drive. Alright, we got our hard drive. Oh, moly, moly, macaroni. I just realized something. How am I gonna put it in there? How am I gonna put this in here? Okay. That's just gonna sit there like that. Yeah, that's good. Alright, um. I wish I had something here to hold this hard drive, but I guess not. Just for now, until I find something that I can mount it on. It's gonna, just gonna have to be here. Okay, so... That's there. Don't mind that. Let's get ourselves a, a SATA cable. Oh my. That's not gonna reach. I need a longer state of cable. Let's see. I don't have anything longer than that, do I? Okay, let's see here. Well, the joke is the orange one is the longer one. Okay, um SATA 1 is gonna be Alright, connected it to SATA 1. And bring it. There we go. All right, we got everything hooked up. I'm not sure where I stopped the video. Just uh, the camera just stopped recording for a second. So everything's connected, and let's see if this thing fires up and recognizes the. So Alright guys, so I have the camera pointed towards the screen. Everything's connected like I said. So here is the moment of truth to see if I connected everything correctly. I have a USB with Kali Linux on it with the USBs that we connected to the motherboard to the USB ports that are on top of the machine. Not the ones that are on the motherboard on top of the machines. So if I've done this correctly I did it right. So let's power her up. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there's the fan. Yes! It worked! Let's just keep going and see what happens. Boom! Check that out. It worked. That's magic. Now this is the this uh, motherboard was a little complicated. Now you saw the diagram on the screen before and I just gotta say that that was um, wasn't labeled correctly like the other motherboards for um, I guess the Asus would be labeled but this one is the MSI and uh, huh, this was one hell of a trip anyway let's uh, before I install Kotlin kind of Linux I want to install Windows on this machine but let's uh, take a look at the hardware down there all right, so here's a closer look of what I got going on here. This uh, right there is where the uh, I'm gonna install the uh, these um, the headphone jack and the mic jack here. So that's later. You guys don't need to see that. That's boring stuff. So we're gonna connect the uh, speaker to this here. That's where it belongs, right there. So this whole configuration here I mean some of them are facing this way I mean you gotta figure out what's positive and what's negative on this so this motherboard for the MSI here MSI I'll show you hold on, the MSI I'll put you guys there the MSI 81M E33 M80X uh, I again I rate it uh, out of 10 I give it like a 7 
So I got an i3 here in my uh, for my motherboard, and I think it's eight gigs or four gigs right now. I'm gonna increase that RAM later. But yeah, so there's the build, and as you saw before, it works. The USBs are gonna be up here, right up there. Let's get a closer look, shall we? It's gonna be right there. That's where the USBs are. And you can see there, I got a USB connected right there, and it is indeed blinking, as you can see. So. That's the hardware part of this here, and I put that together, and I'm happy with it. All right, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and learned uh, at least something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed me putting together this PC. As you can see, it's not really that hard to put together uh, a PC. You get yourself the motherboard, the uh, hard drive, the what do you call it, solid state drive your RAM, your video card. I didn't put a video card in this one here because I'm using it in my other computer. But I'm gonna get a video card for this one, perhaps a 970 just to be on the cheap side. And then later on, as uh, time goes, I'll get like a 1060 for about two, three hundred dollars. I'm hoping that two, well, about the 200 range. And put the power supply in, and if you want a CD drive, you can put a CD drive in. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna connect it because I don't use a CD drive for anything. And if I want to use a CD drive, I will connect an external one and just that's about it. Call it a day because I don't have a, a SATA cable that long that will reach to the motherboard. I'm gonna have to buy one. I mean, they're cheap. You go to monoprice.com, you go to ueg.com, or you can go to a computer store, or you can go to microcenter.com. So your choice, however you want to get it, even eBay. So, but anyway, now it's only a matter of wiping out that hard drive and then installing whatever I want to install on it. And I'm not sure what I want to install in it because it, uh, yeah, it's an Intel i3. So I may perhaps take the other computer's hard drive, connect it to this and go back to that. So I hope that you had a great tea time, coffee time, break time, or whenever you're watching this video, I hope you were cozy and comfy. And remember, if you're gonna build a PC, start cheap. $500, $600, and then work your way up from there. Upgrade one thing at a time. And one advice that I will give you guys that are starting off uh, building computers is get yourself um, like 120 or um, 256 solid state drive, and then get yourself a terabyte hard drive HDD. Install Windows or whatever operating system you're using on the solid state, and then the other uh, hard drive is going to be for all your pictures, photos, programs. So this way, your computer is going to boot a lot faster. So just a heads up, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to be doing reviews of uh, Linux, different Linux distros or distributions. Uh, it could be Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Arch Linux. So I'm going to be reviewing different uh, Linux distributions. So please keep an eye out for that in the future. Okay? Thanks for watching. Thank you for visiting the lounge. I hope you had a good time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Technology. Also technology, know your stuff because that's the show that I'm really putting together. What is wrong with me? Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video. Oh, yeah. Eat my foot. I haven't washed my foot in six days, man. Ah! Without further ado, here it goes. Oh, I got you.